Greetings, hi there. I wanted to bring up an issue about forgiveness uh, and um, the material world. I got a comment by somebody the other day who was suggesting that uh, anybody who's talking about forgiveness or spiritual principles uh, in a way that encourages the idea that there is material success or a pot of gold at the end of the forgiveness rainbow, you know, that that's dubious. I want to correct that, okay? Uh, that is ex actually one of the examples of what we call contempt prior to investigation. Just because you hear a title that says forgive to win, uh, forgive to gain material success, please do not assume that this is bogus. This is a sham manipulation to get you to, to, to put, uh, pony up some money to buy a book. That's not what this is all about. Uh, the fact is, the truth is, if you investigate, if you look and don't judge before y you make a, a decision, don't judge, don't decide, first evaluate, first look at the data, and the data is this. Forgiveness and being of service to others are the uh, foundation of my book, Forgive to Win. And the whole point is that through this course of forgiving others, you forgive yourself. Through the process of esteeming others, being of service to others, you uh, esteem uh, yourself. And what happens is you heal yourself. When you heal yourself, you end all of the deeply embedded guilt, shame, and self-loathing, which is at cause for all your self-sabotaging behaviors, all the ways in which you procrastinate and resist doing things that are in your best interest, all the ways in which you say and do things that actually obstruct the flow of positive energy and growth. Every, every way, self-sabotaging way in which you actually put people off rather than draw them to you. You make people not want to help rather than help and synergize with your goals and plans. The more you love and forgive others, you love and forgive yourself, you heal yourself, you end self-sabotage behaviors. Now, when you end self-sabotage behaviors, these are going to have uh, ripple effects in all aspects of your life. So you will be happier. On a, an emotional level, you'll be happier. You will be less depressed. You will be less anxious. You will be less angry, okay? Uh, on, the, uh, on the material plane, the same thing is true. You will have more uh, physical uh, wellness, you will uh, be able to heal yourself better. You will be able to resist uh, illnesses better. You will, you know, this works. And on the, the literal material plane of prosperity and success and abundance and getting the career you want or the relationships you want or the money you want, or the opportunities you want, things get better because you are better, because you are in a healthier frame of mind. And when you're in a healthier frame of mind, you don't do stupid stuff. Consciously or unconsciously, you don't do stupid stuff. And so opportunities and abundance and prosperity, this is how the law of attraction, uh, this is how the secret actually works. This is when it really works. When you synergize your unconscious mind with your conscious desires and you'll get success. So forgiveness is a spiritual principle that can lead to material success. Take care. Peace be with you. See you next time.